So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video we are going to talk about how we can create a realistic fire simulation using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial okay, so for creating a fire in blender we need one add-on it's called basically fire scatter you can download from the internet and you will also get the link into the description so make sure after watching this video you just check out the description and download that add-on and you can try by yourself also okay so for creating these kind of fire what we need basically here you can see this is look awesome by the way that's look awesome and we have a smoke as well so for that what we have to do we have to just delete everything right now because we have to show first how we can do that i'm going to delete everything and uh, first of all you have to just download an add-on then you have to just go to edit uh, preference and uh, you have to just install that add-on from your directory and when you just install it you have to just search the file scatter and you have to just check from the here and after that make sure you just do save preference after doing all those things you have to just select your object where you need the fire by the way and you have to just press the end and you will get a fire uh, scatter add-on you have to just click the scatter fire and it will immediately scatter the file according to this object by the way you have to just move this fire here to here something like that and you have to just place it where you want this fire so i'm going to place it into this uh, what we can say drum looking awesome by the way yes okay and now if i'll just play the animations now here you can see this is look awesome it looks super 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 realistic okay and for creating this these kind of fire we need some clicks and here you can see we have a super cool looking fire that look awesome by the way and uh, i will show you one more thing what you can do with by the way you have to just add any object for example i'm just going to add the one uh, uh what we can say monkey and uh, i'll just place this monkey here by the way and i'll just select this monkey and this i will just do the scatter fire and i'll just delete, delete the rest of the fire and now here you can see the monkey have also the fire and now the cool thing about this add-on you can just move the direction of this fire according to your desire and you can also animate this whole fire uh, using the keyframes and you can change the rotation of this fire here you can see and you can also increase the minimum density and maximum density for example i'm going to increase a little bit so here you can see we have a more fire uh, what we can say strings fire uh, uh, beans by the way okay and if i'm just going to decrease it for example 0 0.2 i'm just going to keep it by default let's look something like that and you can also increase the density and you can also increase the randomness from the here so it will look more realistic and more organic if you just add some randomness into your uh, fire basically all right guys and i'm going to show you again here you can see you can add any kind of object for example i'll add the uv sphere and you can add the fire into this object as well here you can see you don't you don't need like anything else you have to just select that object you have to just click the scatter file and you will get the fire immediately in a friction of second and now here you can see you can just play the animation you get whole fire i'm going to show you one more thing by the way okay i'm going to show you one more trick what you can do by the way you can just uh, uh, create one uh, mesh like what i'm going to do basically i'm going to delete everything because right now we don't need anything i'm going to just add the uh, one plane scale it little bit apply the scale in this plane then i'm just going to subdivide this plane little bit two two three time like something like that i think that much subdivision will look nice to me then i'll just add the uh, displace modifier into this and i'll just add the new texture like i'll add the um and yeah, maybe cloud texture and it looks something like that we can increase the size and we can increase the depth as well and here you can see i'm going to add the subdivision surface modifier so it look a little bit cool okay after that what you can do basically you can just click the scatter fire and hold this section by the way hold this plane you will get the fire and here you can see you can like you can like you can like create a whole forest burning effect using this right now what i'm gonna do by the way first of all i'm just gonna decrease the density because my system is getting lag because of the density and we can increase and decrease the flames using this 
and the mini and the max uh, button as well now here you can see this is the animation which is look awesome by the way the conclusion of this video basically you can add the file in any kind of object doesn't matter what kind of shade doesn't matter what kind of shape it is having you have to just select that object and just click the scatter file and you will get the file immediately and this is something we are looking for so long and finally we have this add-on now you can just use this add-on and uh, create according to your desire so that's very easy and cool add-on so i thought i should share with you and the most important thing guys this add-on is totally free of cost so anyone can download from the internet and you will also get the link into the description so make sure after watching this video you just check out the description and download and and use this add-on and if you enjoy this video and if you learn something from new from this video please make sure you hit the like button and hit the share button and subscribe my channel also so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all